<laughs> what a deck! Hello and welcome back to What a Deck, where we play troll decks, rogue decks, and in this case, Infernoids, Lair Infernoids to be specific, Budget Lair Infernoids to be even more specific. And if you missed it, this is actually part two of a series. I did five duels yesterday playing with this deck, and I'm about to do five more, but I've made a couple changes. I got rid of Foolish Burial, and I've taken out one of these called by the grave. As good as they are, we kept seeing them in multiples, and they hadn't been all that useful. So we took those two out, we've put in two Dark Ruler No More. This should help us fight some of the combo decks. We've been running to a whole lot of them. And even though we can't OTK through it, we can hopefully establish a field that our opponent can't play through on subsequent turns. Combo decks oftentimes are all in. They put everything, and then they have no follow-up play if you can destroy them. So we're going to try that. It's undoubtedly going to be even more inconsistent, but with how inconsistent YGO Pro is, maybe we'll get a little lucky. <laughs> All right, here we are, the sixth duel. What is to you possibly the first duel if you're just joining us? Hi, hello. Been doing these split episodes for a while now, and he's making us go first. Oh boy. Um, but I think we can set up pretty decently. Let's go ahead. We're going to... One for one. We're going to send this to scare him just to scare him a little bit just to give him a little a little scaredy do and we're gonna put this out here and we're going to send what are we more worried about monster effects probably yeah yeah let's go for monster effects so we're going to send a deviati this can negate monster effects and this gains its effect so it can tribute itself to negate monster effects not the best first turn play but this is a go second deck, and he's making us go first. So there's really not much we can do unless we get... We have one card that allows us to go first, and it is searchable. So if we draw one of, like, four things, we're good. And unfortunately... Well, I don't think Hakai can... Or not Hakai. Unchained. That's their real name. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Had to take a drink there. My throat's feeling a little dry. But yeah, I don't think they can OTK all that well. Um, and you know, we're just going to stop their plays outright. Start them from getting things out. So, Tribute itself. And this will negate and banish. Called by the grave. Of course he has it when it's useful. I forgot what that said. What was it? Unreasonable! Why must you be so unreasonable? Alright, so the bad news is we're in for a spot of bother. He's got a big Chungus, but he can't link summon with our dudes because we have no dudes. He has this, he can try to link summon with our dudes. If we could get Lair, I think we'd have an out to it. The real question is, can he put anything on top of that? And the answer is no. No, he cannot. Hey! It's just what I needed! Boo -doo 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 -doo. Actually, what I want to do first... Let's go ahead, uh, thinking, thinking, yeah, let's void imagination, because he's got this extra deck monster out. So before we get rid of it, let's go ahead and make Tierra. Uh, it doesn't really matter if he link summons with Tierra, that's not really going to affect us all that much. Alright, and then he summons that out. Hey, that's not going to affect us all that much. Because the main point of doing it is just to get a whole bunch of Infernoids in the graveyard. Just way more than he can handle. So, let's get one of these. And one of these. And again, we're just going to send one of, like, all the little ones. Because we can use them as fodder. And also, we want to keep one so that if Decatron needs something, it can. So, let's go that, that. Uh, we'll go ahead and send another one of those. And I really don't want to... Okay, that's six. So we're going to do that. We're going to summon Big Chungo. And then when this is summoned, I haven't actually been able to use this effect yet. But if you use three or more materials, you can mill three cards. Each player does, which is, hey, nice. If you use five or more, which we use six, each player sends the top three cards from their deck... Or no, send three cards from your extra deck to the graveyard. 
Oh wait, no, three or more is the extra deck, five or more is the the top three cards of your deck. So we got that, and we have some neat stuff. We can send ntz, 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 and Tis. He's got to get rid of stuff in his, his extra deck. He probably doesn't want to do that. Target one fiend, add it to your hand. Okay, so blow up that. Um, Probably don't want to blow up that, but I can blow up that. That'll just, at most, summon another doggo. Um, so yes, Entis. When Entis is sent from the extra deck to the graveyard, you can blow up cards on the field. Just one. But, oh wait, I didn't want to do that. Um, oh well. Let's blow up this. And... Oh wait, no, that was the... Okay, there we go. Let's just blow up a whole bunch of shit. And he's gonna blow up that himself, because I didn't blow it up. Just blowing up everything. Everything the movie, the game. Which is why it doesn't matter that he linked summon with that. That's that's the main thing. I remember someone was like, why don't you play two, two Tierras? Because it's such a good card. I'm like, yeah, but it's only good because it dumps everything into the graveyard. I, I honestly couldn't activate a second one if I wanted to. Well, I, I think I have enough monsters too, but it would be very difficult. Wow, lots of chain links. Okay, he gets something back to his hand. He summons that back out. And then he gets that, which is not scary to me. Okay, so let's go ahead. Now we Lair of Darkness. And then we're going to tribute your dude who has a quick effect. Millen, 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 millen all day long. When you keep on millen, and we sing this millen song. And it's negated. Sadness. At least it's only a level one. All right. So then what we want to do... I think I have to destroy this, because otherwise... Yeah. Unfortunately, we can't go for the big numbers, because he happens to have something with 3,000. Let's just get Tierra out of the graveyard and two little boys. Hello, it is me. Mr. Blow Up Your Boobs. You may have heard of my people. Kachunk. 3,000. Not great, but better than nothing. And since I tributed something on my turn, I get a nice torment token that I can tribute off to negate things. Or, I can just use it to attack him. Oh no. He summons a dude. And that dude has 3,000. Um, how many Decatrons have I used? I've only used one, and... I haven't set all the things that bounce back yet. So, let's go. Go, go, reasoning. Oh wait, he's probably going to pick one. He knows what I got. He knows what I'm doing. Oh, he just Ash Blossom. Unreasonable! Unreasonable to do that against my reasoning. Okay, so here's a pro gamer tip. Um, Tribute one monster, target, okay. Using two dark monsters with different names. So, we're going to use a Nuchu and a Shadow Token. Hello. And then we're going to tribute off his monster to put a token on Lair of Darkness so it can't be destroyed. <laughs> fun stuff, fun stuff, doing all sorts of fun stuff. Can he do anything else from there? I don't know why it's waiting. Can this do something? Oh. Uh, when your opponent, uh, you can send this card. Um, okay. I'm going to go ahead and summon this because it has 1800 attack. I'm going to go ahead and... I think we want to negate monster effects at this point. I think that's the most pressing matter. If I summon this, I would have to... I should have just... So, okay. I shouldn't have summoned this. That was a dumb thing to do. Don't do what I do, or you will be in doo-doo. <laughs> I am an idiot. Um, no, we don't want to blow things up. We just want to attack for much. A thousand. Eighteen hundred. I think we still have game anyway, and we do have game anyway. And I got to show off the cool things you could do. So a good start to this episode. Let's hope it continues to be good. <laughs> Romu 42.
I don't know, for some reason that sounded like some sort of, like, Japanese name, and now I'm realizing I think those are, um, Greek? Rho and Mu? I'm trying to... Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta, Epsilon, Zeta, Eta, Theta, Iota, Kappa, Lambda, Mu, Mo, Rho... Lambda, Mu, Ru... Yeah, so Mu, Rho, Sa... Okay, yeah. I used to know that whole alphabet for reasons that don't have anything to do with anything. Don't look into that. I'm definitely not a Greek man. I'm definitely not. You don't have to get me to the Greek. I don't know how to touch those fuzzy walls. You know what I'm saying? And it looks like we're going up against another combo deck. Danger windups. Windups aren't that dangerous. I don't know. That's that's actually what was it? I made two versions of this deck. One was just the regular Infernoid, like you see here, that sort of goes off Monster Gate. Oh hey, um. This can be summoned out of the graveyard, so I'll put that in there. But yeah, I had I had the regular Infernoid like you see here, and then I also made a Danger Infernoid. It was like a 50-card deck with the whole idea being like, you know, the Dangers let you discard the Infernoids from your hand while drawing a card. And then because I had a whole bunch of more Dark Monsters, these are all fire. I was playing uh, Super Polymerization and stuff. You can play Super Poly in this deck. Because you have Lair of Darkness, it turns everything dark, and then you can make Starving Venom. And obviously the meta is full of a whole lot of dark decks, so if you're playing this in the meta, that's definitely a side deck card. But on YGO Pro, not so much. Um, but yeah, I, I made a Danger version. It worked pretty well, it did some neat things. You could make big, huge Link monsters and then summon the Infernoids out. Because you didn't control any monsters with levels. If you recall, you can only control Infernoid monsters if the ranks and levels of all effect monsters you control are 8 or lower. So you can you can, you can can make a big Link monster like Skull Dread and then summon a bunch of Infernoids and do stuff. So I made that. It wasn't quite as good as this though. And that's... Kino wanted me... The guy who requested this episode wanted me to play the best version of Infernoids. And I think this is the best. It's not particularly doing... I mean, it's still doing well. I've already won four out of six games, so... I shouldn't be complaining. I just feel... I felt like this was a nine out of ten game. Maybe even ten out of ten deck. And instead, it's like, no, I've already suffered two losses, and, and one of those wins was, like, difficult. So... I don't know. We'll see how it goes. We've got a fairly good start. I mean, anytime you start off with a Decatron, you're good, because that's going to bait out any, some kind of negation. Or it can get you negation on board to make your bigger plays. Although we have Monster Gate, so we probably just want to tribute it for that. Two Monster Gate, not once per turn, so we should be good. It really just depends what he builds with this. And I haven't the slightest idea what he could be going for. Abyss Dweller. Um, your opponent cannot activate any cards or effects in their graveyard this turn. Alright, but the Infernoid summon out of the graveyard, they don't activate. I think I can still summon monsters out of the graveyard? We will see. Um, either way, what we're gonna do, we're gonna normal summon this. Right in front of Skulldred. Just to be like, aha! What say you? And just in case I can't do that, we're going to send... Actually, what do I... I got a Harmadick in my hand. Yeah, so let's send this. We're going to bounce that up. We're going to special summon the Harmadick by banishing the thing we just sent. Hello? Is it me you're looking for? We're going to blow that up. Hey, all these little ones, they can use these effects, but then they can't, uh, they can't attack this turn. All we've got left is that. Um, and then, yeah, we're just gonna roll them bones, baby! Monster Gate. Well, that was underwhelming. But that's still fine, because again, we've got another Monster Gate. Let's go ahead and send... No, not that one. This guy. I remember Paul. Or Pat. Yeah. Pat Rula. And just blow up that. Just clearing the board and clearing the field. And let's go ahead and make Doolittle Chimera. We could Monster Gate again. It's probably the smarter move. But I think we're already set. How many monsters do we have? One, two, three, four. Okay, so we can do that. And then we can Special Summon this by banishing two from our graveyard. 
And then we can special summon this dude by banishing two from our graveyard. Hey, ho, what you want to know? And when this guy destroys a monster by battle, he can attack again. So unless he has some sort of hand trap, I think this is game anyway. Yeah, because we could just attack again. Because with Doolittle, that's 33, 31, that's 6, 7, 8. Oh, are we just there? <coughs> no, we have more than enough. So there you go. I didn't even have to use... If he had another negate, if he negated one monster gate, I could still do another one. And I had a, a monster that could destroy spell traps. So there's an example, even when you don't get, like, huge mills into the graveyard, how opening with a Decatron, or just two Decatrons in this case, you're just set. You, you could do some good stuff. Let's go into the 8th duel. <laughs> Alright, 8th duel versus Kyo. I'm pretty sure that's a Japanese, Asian, some something in that. That, that reminds, that sounds like a Japanese name. I'm pretty sure, sure there's some sort of anime protagonist who can do that. Um, yeah, we started with our Decatron, so we do not want to use Gamma. Because we're going to tribute it off with Monster Gate, and then if he tries to use a monster to negate it, we'll have nothing on the field. We can make Gamma, then we can make Psyframe Lord Omega. Which is great because you can shuffle your banished cards back, and your banished cards are your fodder to banish or to summon your other cards. So that's pretty great. And then you can also just get stuff out of their hands. He can bounce himself off the field so the levels of the monsters you control are eight or less. Hey, pretty useful in this deck centered around monster levels and stuff. Yeah, Infernoid's really, really creative design, really interesting. It's just a pity that, like, the best way to play them is, like, that grass. I should probably... I could probably Gamma and, like, stop this now. That's one of the things... When I first started playing this deck, I had Gamma in here. And I was using it and then uh, on my opponent's turn, like you normally should. In most decks, that's why you play Gamma, is to stop your opponent's plays. But here, it doesn't really matter unless they're going to make something that can, like, negate you. And Code Talkers can't really negate you. I think we're pretty good. Yeah. Really, the thing I've learned is, like, it's better to save it during your turn. Oh, hey, Dark Ruler no more. Um, Might as well, if you can. Just, that's a nice thing you have. It's a pity that it can be destroyed now. Would have been cooler if we had, like, you know, bigger monsters on the field. Sign at back door, so we can get rid of that back door, and it's this big, this big sort of black hole. Gig, giggity, gigadu. Um, we still have a monster summoned from the extra deck, so let's go ahead while we're here. Um, it's just my imagination, baby. Just gonna make a big old thing. Getting all Tierra with a whole bunch of materials. Put them in the graveyard and have myself a delicious pie. I don't know what I'm doing. Comment in the comments if you like singing. Singing songs. Um, okay, and I don't want to use that from the hand. I just want to be like... waka -cha. Um... Yes. We will just send this and this and one of these. Why not? We can destroy it. We got his thing. We didn't really need to do Dark Ruler no more. In fact, if I hadn't done that, I think I would have been set. Wait, no. The important thing to, to, to uh, remember. When you use Void Imagination, you cannot summon... Uh, what was it? Or No, it's this one. You can discard a card to add a Void from your deck to your hand. Um, but you cannot normal or special summon monsters for the rest of the turn except for Infernoids. So if you search that, like we did, um, yeah, if you search that, oh yeah, you can blow this up, yeah. Normally, if you search it, unless you blow yourself up, then you have 11 stars on the field, so you can't do stuff. Um, and yeah, I think I'll do that. I'll just blow up this, because you can't, like, link it away and make other things. You're just sort of, like, doom-screwed. Um, let's go ahead and put Psyframe Lord Omega back. He can shuffle himself and something else back. Um, let's put... 
Oh, it's in the graveyard. Okay. Let's put this back. There we go. And then we're going to special summon... See, negates monster effects. Yeah, that's what I want to do. I can't, again, I can't OTK him this turn because I use Dark Ruler no more. But I can at least get some, some sturdy monsters on board. And this one. Graveyard. Oh, no. Oh, I didn't do enough things. That's unfortunate. I didn't mill as much as I'd like. Okay, I still have a follow-up plan, though. Yeah, and he just takes no damage. Yep, okay, we're good. So yeah, probably a little overboard with the Dark Ruler no more. I could have OTK'd him even through it. But at least that, that gives you... This is an example of what you would do against a more powerful deck. You could Dark Ruler no more, do that, destroy your stuff, summon back things. And then... Oh, I probably should have negated that. I don't know what I was thinking. That was a dumb thing to have done. Um... Yeah, negate. Stop it. Get some help. Unreasonable. You think you're full of reasoning, but you're not. Sign at Storm. All right. That is a slight problem. Oh, wait, I can blow it up with Decatron. Pretty sure. Pretty sure I could just blow that up with Decatron. Oh? You can attack directly? That's not game, though, is it? I didn't goof myself into a game, though. No, okay, good. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and banish those. I don't like you when you have things. I would prefer if you didn't have things. That's the preferred state of being. Um, I do have... What have I negated? Or not negated, what have I banished? That's useful. Um... Okay, yeah, I should have another Paul, so I can get rid of that. This, if I do 3,000 damage to him, he can summon a Cybers monster from his extra deck. Um, so yeah, we're going to send this. We're just going to blow that up. And then we're going to Monster Gate for our third version of that. Or we're immediately going to summon Cyframe Driver. No, that's fine. And I don't have enough Infernal at well. That is unfortunate. A very unfortunate thing to have happened. What are the chances it would be right on top of the deck? Alright, can he top deck freedom? That is the question. I have no idea if they can recover. Oh no, he's doing things. Um. What does that do? Nope, that's... What does that do? Um, banish this card in one Cyberus Ritual. Summon two tokens. Fuck. I cannot prevent that. Alright, big mistakes were made. This is what I get for trying to be fancy. Now I'm going to be killed when I should have been great. I assumed that the, the, the mills would be better than they are. The lucky random mills that I was assuming for. Add one Sinet Fusion. Um, when a Cyberus and this card is in the graveyard, you can special summon this card. Okay. No. No, thank you. Come again. Unreasonable. Get out of here. Um, hand or field. All right. So can he fuse something? Ding dang old clock wyvern. Fuck. Hecking heck. I have done heck to myself out of, out of hex. I can't curse anymore. Great. Now this channel's for kids. Kappa's gonna come. They're gonna, they're gonna find me $42,000 because they're completely unreasonable. That's, that's just how they are. I'm being sarcastic, by the way. They would, they would never. Oh, great. Um, a thousand for each. Um, let's see. Welp. Consider these trousers soiled. Oh, we can't attack with it. Oh, well. Well, he still has that. Can I send Tierra back? I did. All right. 
chong 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 Um... Hello, you remember me. I was there earlier, I did things. Uh, let's see. I can't believe this worked! I was just talking earlier about how I would never be able to activate two of these, and now I've gone and activated two of them. And gotten everything into the graveyard, everything my hopes could dream for. And I don't want to send one, two, three. Okay, I still got five. That's fine. Um, attack. Yes. Um, let's see here. While you control Link monster, your opponent cannot target other monsters you control for attacks. Other monsters you control with effects, but he doesn't control Link monster, so I should just be able to like. Oh, I gotta send something else too. Um, uh, decode. Let's hope that's not something I need. Your extra deck is becoming very thin, young man. Very thin indeed. Perhaps it needs some more stout Russian bread. Can we make stout Russian bread a meme? I know I just made it up off the top of my head and there's no context and it doesn't mean anything, but I still want it to be a meme. Get, just get the type, get the tip tapping. Give me some stout Russian bread down in the chat. Um, yes. Uh, blow this up. He can save it. He can save it and save it and save it all day. He can save it. Oh no. Alright, what do I want to put back into the deck? Um, I want to put... Do I have a lair in here? No, I haven't used a single... Oh, there's a lair. Let's put a lair back. Okay, but I still have this. So what I can do... Um, I won't die from this, will I? 34, 45... No, I'll almost die, but I won't die. Banish everything. Hey, good times. Um, and all I've got is those two. Still better to have two things so I can tribute something. So let's go ahead. We're going to get this and this. Hello. And we're going to summon out one of these using the other one of these. I am low on resources. As I said many times this duel, I have made many mistakes. Bad mistakes. Mistakes that other people wouldn't have made. I should have negated that thing. This time I will make sure to negate the thing as soon as he tries to do the thing. I'm not sure what else he can do. His extra deck has to be low on monsters. It has to be. Okay, Link Disciple. I'm not going to negate that because it's, it's dumb. Um... If, uh, for the rest of this turn, you cannot Link Summon, Link 3... Okay, that's fine. You can tribute that off, and then I'll tribute this off. Get out of here. Unreasonable. It still gets its effects. Oh, what a no, it gets two! <laughs> I'm a dumbins! But he's only got two monsters left in his deck. What can he pause? Okay, good. He can stall. He can stall. I can stall with the best of them, baby. Lair of Darkness. Let's go! That's the way we wash our hands, thy fair lady. Washing hands, washing hands. If this is Maneater Bug. Okay, good. It's not Maneater Bug. We're good. We're set. Now I contribute his monsters to negate his monsters. I think we're finally good. I, I am going to, I'm going to assume we're good. I'm going to assume that I will eventually kill him. It'll just take some time. So I'll be back. I'll be back when he's defeated or when something happens that I did not expect. Raigeki, maybe? Attack with zero attack tokens for game? That would be sad. Link Karibo. Karibo, bo, 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 bo. And he tributed for a code exporter. Um... 
When a Cyburst is normal summoned, you can special summon this. Um, and it has... Yeah, I'm just going to gonna be like, no, I don't want... Go away. You have 500. You export code. Now you get token. Enjoy token. Token, you get two tokens because you tribute summon the monster. You've got, oh hey, this. I don't want to summon it because if he attacked into it with a fucking torment token, I would be doomed. I would be doom screwed. Although, ew, how many more monsters do I have in my graveyard? Not enough. Not enough to summon this back. So I'm just going to play it safe. I'm going to be a safe little boy just here in my home. Just having happy fun times. Nobody's scared of me. I'm not scared of anybody else. Your move. <laughs> Alright, I set the Decatron. I flip the Decatron. I normal summon another Decatron. I have nothing to send. There are no monsters left in this deck. Um, I am going to make just a Wii Witch's Apprentice. Because everything's dark, so it counts as dark. And that way I can get over these tokens faster. Because I still think he's doomed. I think this is the end. I think this is the- I'm really surprised he has not given up. This is the longest, dumbest duel I've ever done in Infernoids, and it is entirely my fault. I hope you can forgive me. Comment in the comments if you forgive me for trying to show off when I should have just been trying to get the job done as fast as possible. Oh, watch this this will be this will be something with 2600 defense and I will I will die in shame a shame fire or this will be like mirror force if this is mirror force I'm I'm a fucked um attack what say you what are your final words it's link karibo uh okay Uh, yes, I still want to attack. Down to his last man. Oh, okay, it could not. There we go. We're done. We did it. Ninth duel, let's go. <laughs> All right, ninth duel. Big happy, biggest happy, happy out of ten, going second. We're doing things. I have run out of things to talk about with this deck. So I guess I guess it's your guys' turn. Hi, how are you? My name's Hardleg. What's your name? Do you... Do you like playing Yu-Gi-Oh? Are you having a fun Yu-Gi-Oh time? As I didn't play Yu-Gi-Oh when I was a kid. Ooh, Zombie World. I don't think Zombie World affects me, except for my ability to make links and stuff. Although now he can get the Baller Drock. Which will affect me. Because he can banish my dudes, and I don't want my dudes to be banished. I would prefer if they are not banished, actually. Fun fact. Um, oh, but if I can get rid of it, then I can call it from the grave. Oh, and he has a monster from the extra deck. So, hi there. Nice to see you. Um, activate. I probably should have done this first now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, it's fine. At least we can get a bunch of stuff in the graveyard. One of these. And one of those. And this. This. Leave the level 6 because it's not useless. You only play the level 6 because of uh, a thing, the, the the trap. You have to summon specifically monsters who equal 8. And everything else is in my hand. Alright. I actually probably should have used, like, Entra first. I should have done so many things first and I did not do it. Yes. You have to negate this. If you do not, you will be a sad boy. And you do not want to be the sad boy, I tell you what. Go ahead. Have a fun time. I mean, if he doesn't negate it, he could try to banish something out of my graveyard instead. But then I'm going to send three and, and just completely devastate his, his uh, state of being. And he will not like that. He will go from big happy to big sad. A sad state. It's so refreshing. I guess that's why this deck feels so much more powerful to me, because I'm used to playing stuff like a Romages where it's like, man, if we had been going up against Do Doom King Ballardrock with a Romages, my I'd be like, this would oh oh he's gonna let it go okay. If he let me do Doom King Ball, if I had to go against Doom King Ballardrock, 
with a row mages, I would be like sweating because there's there's very few ways that that deck can play around this. Um, but with this, it's like, nah, I've got this. I can summon this and bounce it back. I could normal summon Decatron and then send one of these and then try to destroy it. I could, and then Monster Gate, whatever I summon. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Boop, boop, boop. Let's blow up that. Let's kill that. And let's kill that again, just in case you want to try to negate one of those. And he surrendered. Big, I told you. I told him that if he didn't negate that, he would become Big Sad, and now he is Big Surrender. A sad state of affairs for him, and a good state of affairs for me, because that means I get to go to the 10th duel. <laughs> Alright, 10th duel versus number 1, that's almost a 10, it just needs another 0 on the end. I seem to fight against someone named 1 a lot. I don't know if that's just, oh, what is it, my birthday? Why, thank you. Um... Let me see if I can show off again. No, I can't. I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm like, I have so many open moves, and I really don't. So let's do this. Let's send that and get a Decamatron. Hello, my name is Decamatron. Let's send... Um, We want to negate monster effects. Monster effects. There we go. And let's go ahead... Actually... Get this. Oh, wait, do we already discard the six? We discarded the six, so I can't show it. Um, but that's fine. We can still get it. We'll send this. I'm actually going to get Void Feast. There's so many things I didn't get to show off. Because I was trying to show off with other things. There's a lot of stuff this deck can do. I'll probably... You'll have to check out the profile. Check out the profile. There's a lot of neat things. And we're going to set this. And no tribute, so there we go. And then as soon as his turn starts, we're just going to activate this. Void Feast. Send that to the graveyard. Normally, if you have the level 6 in your deck, which we just got rid of, you could summon two Decatrons and then the level 6. And then you can give one Decatron the negate monsters, one the negate spells, and you're pretty set. Um, instead, I'm going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There we go. Um, and we're just gonna, like, attack mode. Um, attack mode, because they have zero. And defense mode. And this is Deviati, so we're going to send a new Choo. Choo Choo. There you go. And that that's the go-first variant of this deck. You get a, a spell negate, a monster negate, and there's the spell negate, the evenly matched. Let's just go ahead and tribute off that. And be like, nah, dog, I ain't going out that way. You're being unreasonable. Do you have a second one? He has a second one! Ladies and gentlemen, the second one. Um. Fuck your noids. Rude. Um. What do we want? I still want to be able to. Let me look at the graveyard real quick. Uh. I can summon Anuchu and I can summon Deviati. So, do I want to keep this the monster in a gate or do i want to keep lair i think i want to keep the monster in a gate there we go because the lair's going to give him tokens at the end of the 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 match and i don't want to do that and let's just banish that for him no searching okay i guess he gets the search after all But that's fine. If he's playing Gishkis, I don't think there's much he can do main phase 2 to me. And I don't think there's much protection he can get against Anuchu. Um, let's see. If this is tributed... Um... And then he can send... 8 cards from my extra deck. Confirm 15 cards? Alright. Oh, but he gets to send a whole bunch of heralds and get a whole bunch of things. And then try to build stuff. And then he gets to get things. Did he send my Tierra? Nah, let's see. He kept that. He kept... He kept this. Alright. 
He sent, yeah, he sent my tiara. And he did not send my other thing. Oh, and then he sent toads. All right. Okay. But what now? <laughs> All right. <laughs> hmm. Very curious indeed. Um. I want to negate spell traps. Right. Right. So let's get a shijip. We'll summon these two. Hello. And I want to stop him from making rituals, so we're going to get this. Um, let's try this, this, and I guess this from my hand. That'll be good. Uh, no, I don't want to blow up the, the field that is just my field. Um, attack. When this card declares an attack, you can banish one card from your opponent's extra deck. Um, uh, yes. Get rid of stuff that's in there. No thousand eyes restrict for you. So he's got like a million billion cards. But I can tribute off his things and I can negate one monster effect. So I still have a chance. Let's really see what he can do. Okay, summons that. I'm waiting for him to do something from the graveyard. I can banish this. Okay, so that's going to be a big no from me. Impossible, and then it's banished. Um, okay. A sad state of affairs. There's the Zeal Gigas paying a thousand. Um, and I'll just go ahead. Because he's just going to return it to my deck, probably. What do I want to banish out of here? You know what, let's just stop him from recurring the Aquamere yet again. I've got nothing to shuffle back, so he must shuffle back himself. Back into the deck you go. Have a nice day. The nicest day you could have. Shuffle that back. Oh, you're not going to pay another thousand? Why not? You could do so many. Yeah, that's fine. I'm waiting for him to, like, summon another one. That would be, what, 64. That would be almost game. And then when he goes to make the, uh, the rank 10 train, then I can give him the choo-choo. The choo-choo no. Unless I've already four... No, that's not... That's not 8,000. Ouch, ouch. Big ouch. Main phase two. He's like, GG. And I'm like, not quite, my friend. He surrendered! <laughs> I don't... Oh, wait, no. I could just get Sajit back, I think. Let me... Let me... That's a banish. What's in my graveyard? Okay. Um... Yeah, I have exactly enough to summon Sajit. That's 24 over his 18. So despite him trying to fuck my Infernoids, it was him who got fucked. That's what you get for being rude. Actually, he probably would have lost even if he wasn't rude. Um, but, you know, I like to pretend that he got what is deserved. Let's go to the end screen. <laughs> so there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Budget, Lair, Infernoids. We went 8-2. and two. Undefeated on this episode. Pretty nice. Pretty happy with that. I still think it could have done a little bit better. I think maybe I messed up that first play. Um, the, the Dark Ruler No More barely, barely factored into anything. I used it once, and I probably shouldn't have. I probably should have just OTK'd him through it but I was determined to use something that I cited in. But either way, hopefully you know how this works. You know the general stuff. I'm a little sad that we didn't get to see some of the combos. I never got the full Void Feast with the two Decatrons. That can be pretty cool. Although we got kind of close to it, 
I didn't get to make the, uh, what's his name? Crusadia Equimax. This is such a great card. I'll explain that combo in the profile. Make sure you check that out if you haven't already. And maybe on the follow-up. I do follow-up videos to this. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. I'll pick a couple and, and respond to them. It'll be a neat, fun time. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Thanks again to Kino for, for sponsoring this. If you'd like to sponsor an episode, or if you just like to support what I'm doing in general, I'd thoroughly appreciate it. Check out the Patreon. And until next time, good luck, and have fun. Psst, hey, welcome to the Secret End Card. This is where I take a moment to thank all my patrons for making this show possible, but especially the high-tier patrons, who thankfully aren't on a budget. They are Salt Lake Kale, Zero, 1503, Chris W., Muntry, Austin Glover, Moo Lenny, Daniel Frowsing, J3 Puffin, Buster Blader, Matt, Lucas Geardis, Casper Habros, Brian Bruns, Antonio Simonelli, Quintingent, Dancing Joker, Inner Hype, Mr. Eiffel, Emperor Lelouch, Diotic, Jeffrey Langrano, and Manuel Therese. Each and every one of them is very reasonable. If you'd like to join them, the Patreon link is on the screen and in the description. And this episode's official question of the day is, what do you think of cards with randomized outcomes? Things like Monstergate and Reasoning. Let me know down in the comments, and until next time, stay frosty.